Hello, in today's video I want to show you how to do what's called a product shot. Uh, this might be something that you do for eBay or for a store or anything that you want to show online. I want this to be as easy as possible so I'm going to limit myself to a point and shoot camera and then a few other props that you can find just around your house most likely. Uh, so I'm using a little teddy bear and a glass goblet and to assist us with lighting, I'm also just going to use some tin foil as a reflector. And you need something white to help diffuse your flash. In my case, I prefer a white coffee filter. You could also use white toilet paper or tissue paper, uh, even lined paper from a notebook or printer paper from your printer. Uh, in my, like I said before, I'm going to be using a coffee filter. I also want to set up my background so I'm not just stuck on this table. Um, one thing that I really like about how my current apartment is set up is I have this shelf here that goes, it actually goes into my kitchen. And I can drape a backdrop off of it. Now if you don't have a shelf like this, you probably have a bookshelf that you could either use your table or a card table and just snug it up right up against your bookshelf and from there uh, you can use either scarves, I've got several different kinds of scarves that you can just put up there to use as a backdrop. Uh, what I've found is that solid colors actually work the best for most things so I also have some solid color backdrops and what I'm going to be using for this particular shoot is actually a dark forest green silk shawl that I got in Santa Fe years ago and that's what I'll be using for my backdrop so let me start getting things set up and we'll start taking some pictures and I'll let you this thing just keep going uh, one thing about product shots and I just noticed it again I have several cats so if you have pets, you may notice that their hair gets on everything. So you want to make sure that once you get your space set up, uh, that you don't have pet hair all over the place or on uh, the, the object of your uh, photo. So I'll just shake off my backdrop here. <coughs> And I'm just going to use a little thing of marbles to secure it up there. I'm also going to just kind of ruffle it up a little for interest. And we'll set our little bear there. Now I'll take a few pictures without using a diffuser. <coughs> So that you can see those, see what a difference just having a coffee filter diffuser is. And I'm making these ruffled up a little bit just for some interest. And I get in close enough to fill most of the frame. And I also take it in portrait mode. Most sites, if you notice, like on Amazon or eBay they feature their products <coughs> in a vertical mode and that's called portrait mode so I think I've got, well, I'll do one more just for grins now all I'm going to do is put this coffee filter my flash is up here. I want to make sure I cover that. And I actually bow it out a little bit just to make sure that I get a good arc of diffusion light. And again, this kind of makes it a little difficult to handle sometimes. I'm actually pushing the shutter release through the, well that's much better, through the filter.
Well, then I'm a little bit too tight. I'm chopping off his feet there. Oh. I'm going to get a little bit lower as well, just so we get a more up close and personal type photo. I think that one's blurry. I think I was moving the camera. Okay, now the thing I want to add is I want to add some reflective light. Uh, the way that things are currently set up in this room, I actually kind of would like to get a little more light over on this side. So what I'm going to do is I set up my goblet where it will be off frame, and I'm just going to hang that foil off here to the side <coughs> and it will pick up that flash and reflect it back towards the side of the bear. So I'm going to take some of those shots and we'll see how that works. Oops! Don't drop the camera dude. Okay, let me get set up here again. Let's see shoot through the coffee filter. Okay, that did fill in the side quite nicely. I'm actually going to pull this forward a little bit more. And I'm going to flatten that wrinkle out actually so we don't get such a getting some shit shadows from the wrinkled backdrop there. Okay, that looks really good. So, I'm going to do some of the same shots with the goblet. Now, the reason I'm doing that is to show what they call specular. <clears throat> highlights and glass or anything that's shiny that's highly reflective you'll get these what they call specular highlights oops and zoom here and so sometimes that's okay but with this flash going directly into the glass Sometimes it's a little bit of a harsh effect. So I'm going to try my diffuser again. Uh, still is pretty harsh. I'm actually going to fold this over to make it even a thicker piece of paper for the flash to go through. area. That's having a tough time with the glass. That happens quite a bit actually. Yeah, I have a very difficult time in this light to pick up the glass. So what I'm gonna do is use a little desk light to illuminate the glass so that I can get focus better. Okay, so you can see over here I've added a little desk lamp. <coughs> and it's actually quite a bright one and it is going to affect the photo. Uh, you can get them pretty cheaply off Amazon. But uh, any desk lamp will do, and now I'm actually getting focus much easier. Oh, and that's a much prettier picture, actually. And just to experiment a little bit, 
You can see this light coming from the side here. I'm going to keep the bear out of the composition, but I want him to prop up this uh, tin foil, and it should give me a kind of a nice light here on the that was pretty interesting on the uh, glass. Okay. And I think that's it for this portion. I will leave you with a slideshow of the better pictures that we got. And thanks for watching.